So, just quickly to let you guys know, the gameplay in the background is not uh, the Euro 2012 DLC, but it is in fact the uh, FIFA 12 proper game. I just decided to play um, as England in it, because uh, I couldn't get any gameplay on the day, but yeah, let's go. What's up guys, Curtis here. So, basically this video isn't going to be uh, structured very well. Um, it's basically just me, I'm not going to record it once, and that's it, Just uh, I'm just going to shoot it out. Um, so, basically these are what I know about the uh, Euro 2012 DLC for FIFA 12. Um, so, I'm recording this the night after playing it, um, so... This is the 17th, as we, uh, a few of us, check check back in my previous videos, you'll see a vlog, and we got to play it. But I wasn't allowed to talk about it until now. So I'm basically just going to go off everything I can remember on the top of my head and tell you guys what I know. Um, so, uh, first things first, the game mode. So, you've got the usual kickoff, so you can just play matches between each other, obviously. Um, then you've got... Uh, the UEFA, uh, the Euros, obviously, you can play the tournament. You can either start off in the group stages as one of the 16, maybe more teams. I can't remember. I just skipped my mind how many um, it is. Maybe 32. I can't remember, to be honest. Um, so you can play as any of those teams and try and progress through the tournament. Or you can go back to the qualifications, the original stuff, and play from there. Um, so that's cool. Uh, they've also got Coke Zero challenges, which we weren't able to access because um, it was online and the Xbox we was using wasn't hooked up to online and obviously they weren't set up, there wasn't a set up because of the date. Um, so I spoke to Rob uh, Hodson on the date and he said that basically it's going to be, from what he knows, it's going to be uh, just like the EA Sports Football Challenges, the Football Club Challenges that we've got at the moment. So. But he's not sure if there'll be a reward or something like that. With sponsorship like Coke Zero, there might be cool stuff that you can get. I'm not too sure. Um, bit bit vague on that one. Uh, so other game modes, you've also got online, uh, where you can just play head-to-head -head matches. And we're not entirely sure, but we think there's like an online cup. But again, we couldn't... Uh, couldn't look through this so don't hold me to that i'm not entirely sure so uh yeah we're not too sure about that one um there's also a really cool um little game type which they've added in which in my opinion is the best best addition to it it's uh it's called expedition and if you've played fifa street the the closest i can uh compare it to is like the world tour but i i actually think it's better so you uh you start off as a random club you make your own team um call it whatever you want the xbox we was using was um there was a guy called j mcfadden um who had already set the team up so i'm recording this bit now in post-production uh you may notice that my voice sounds a little bit different because i may be a different distance away from the mic or something but you can normally tell that so uh i found something else out about this expedition mode i'm not not too sure what to uh make of it so, I said there was a guy called Jay McFadden. I didn't mean that as in J, J A Y, as in the initials J. McFadden. Um, and at the time, we were calling it, we were assuming it was James McFadden, but at the same time, we also thought it may have been the virtual pro. So, obviously, James McFadden, he plays for what? I can't even remember now. Everton, I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that one. And that obviously means he's not a virtual pro. So. The thing that made us think he was a virtual pro was above his name in the game you had the little star like you would from a virtual pro. But I've since seen real uh, different gameplay because we, we start like the team had already been made when we did the expedition so we didn't get to see that that uh, that start screen so we're not too sure. But I've seen some gameplay since which says which shows you that you pick a player um, to go into that squad. So you may still be able to pick your virtual pro in the way that in career you can um, pick a player to use their career uh, but still be a virtual pro and you can use your version of the virtual pro so I'm not too sure about that don't hold me to it you may pick it you may just be given a player and he's your guy but I also think he may be the virtual pro but uh, on with what I was saying so um, we was playing as McFadden FC and you have like a really bog standard uh, squad uh, the sort of thing you'd get at the start of FIFA Street, and then you basically you work your way through all the qualifying groups in the uh, 
in the Euros in the very start bit, so you could play against Andorra, uh, Montenegro, all the average teams, and you also play against some of the better teams, and once you beat them, you firstly get a mosaic piece, and you work to unlock an entire mosaic, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's like your goal, to beat every team three times and have the whole mosaic. Um, and then you also get to pick a player. It start, the first time you play him, you get to pick a player from the reserves. Second time you play him, you get to pick a player from the subs. And first time, you get a player from the first team. And actually, I can't remember if you pick a player from the reserves or subs or whatever, or you get given one from reserves. I think you might just be given one at random. Um, but you also play a weakened squad, depending on which bit you're against. So if you're playing for the reserves, they'll have like a mixture of first team subs and reserves out. Like I remember when we played against Wales, there was no uh no Stephen Corker, I think that's his name. There was no Bale, uh, but there was like Ramsey and it, it's a it's a weakened squad. So it makes it a little bit easier for you. But uh, that that's really cool. And then you build roads. You have to once you beat everyone in the group, then you move on to another group. You can choose which group you go to. You bounce around Europe, getting better teams, upgrading your pro, and all that cool stuff. And I think it's um, the sort of thing that uh, that I really needs to be added to FIFA. I really like it. All the uh, that it's something really cool for pros instead of just the career mode. It's something special just for the pros, and I personally think it's my uh, my favourite addition. So other things added. Now we weren't playing on the newest build of the game. They didn't actually have that ready. We were playing on a slightly older one. So we're not too sure if this is confirmed or not. But we we also think that uh, some of the player stats have been changed. Uh, we noticed both Lampard and Gerrard were eighty fives. Um, and there was a few that had been swapped that we'd noticed. And also, I'm really sad to say this, guys, but no Heskey in the England squad. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's, there might be some player changes, like the rating changes, but um, we can't confirm that either. Uh, what else? Um, there's Oh, yeah, that's another cool thing. The In-game, at the top, now, I... I for some reason thought it was already in FIFA 12, but everyone has assured me it isn't. Um, along the top, it'll come up with random stats like the possession at, the, at that time or shots that our players had. I think it occasionally drops down with shots on FIFA 12, but this does it like really frequently. Like you'd get on telly, it'll tell you the possession. It, and it's more interesting stats than the ones that I po think popped up on 12. So it's really quite cool. And it also like comes up with scores of other people in your group. So... That's quite nicely done. Uh, I like that. And the whole the whole feel of all the menu system and stuff, it's like a purpley pink look, uh, as you can tell from the all the press releases that they've done and stuff and all the releases you'll see over the internet. Um, it's purpley. All like the, the nation's flags are in like a leaf sort of thing. I'm not too sure what that's about. Um, and yeah, I can't, can't really think of anything else. But I can say it's really cool, guys. Um, I'm going to be getting it. Uh... If you have season pass, you don't get it early, but you get the 20% off. So I think that puts it down to 1,440 Microsoft points, or it's 1,800 otherwise. But um, I haven't been paid to say this, just in case anyone says, but um, get it. Honestly, guys, all I can say is as soon as it comes out to play it, it's definitely worth the, what, 18 quid that it is. It's like a whole new game, and there's so much to do on it. Really, really good. The expedition for me, I'd pay... 25 quid just for the expedition mode. I really, really like it, and I think it's a great addition. So, well done to EA for that. Um, so, I think that's it from what I what I can uh, remember from the game. There's, I'm sure there's more things added that I've completely missed out. But, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks again to EA for sending me over. It was absolutely awesome. Um, great. And Rob Hodson is an absolute legend. Um it was really cool. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. If you could leave a like and share this with your friends or comment or subscribe, anything that you want. Um, but I don't really have anything else to say, and I'm rounding on now. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, and I also want to say a big thanks to UltimateFIFA.com uh, for sending me out there. And this will be up on their website along with loads of awesome stuff. I recommend you go and check it out. The link's in the description there. Absolutely awesome. And that's it, guys. Bye.